controversial cleric, Al Shabaab sympathizer, and suspected terrorist. This is the story of Abu Bakr Makobure, who believes he's next on the Kenyan government's kill list. It's a poor to middle class area. He refers to himself as an endangered species. Several of his friends, some of Mombasa's most radical Muslim clerics, have been killed. It's not that I'm I worried. I'm not worried. It's that I know. But that doesn't worry me. As he didn't worry Sheikh Abu Drogo, as he, did, he didn't worry him. He also, Abu Drogo also knew he was going to get killed. Ibrahim knew he was going to get killed. This is how Sheikh Ibrahim Omar met his end on Thursday night, gunned down with four others while they were driving home. According to ballistic experts, the bullet hole pattern indicates it was likely a professional hit. We spoke to the slain driver's father. The bullets that were used were actually very large. You could see the holes were very, very big. These, are actually, these bullets must have actually you know, been meant to kill an elephant, not a human being. Police still haven't taken the car away. It's in Hamoud's backyard, a constant reminder of just how his son died. Abu Bakr Makaburi may be on the UN sanctions list as an Al-Shabaab sympathizer, but locally he's a hero, revered especially by Muslim youth. I've not killed a single human being. He's convinced Kenyan authorities are behind the killing of his friend. They are denying any involvement though, still, Abu Bakr believes he's next. Are they going to kill me? Yes, they are. But that doesn't make me scared. I mean, I'm a true Muslim. Why should I fear death? And uh, I can even tell you how they are going to kill me. They are going to get a warrant of my arrest. They, are come, they will come to my house. Then uh, supposedly I'm going to resist arrest. And then weapons are going to be found in my house. That's how it's going to happen. Police are keeping a close eye on the suburb following Friday's riots and an even closer eye on Abu Bakr, it seems. The cleric, meanwhile, has warned me of things to come. Just today in the morning, there were some youth at my place telling me that we should ask Al-Shabaab for help because we are getting killed, our clerics are getting killed, and then called terrorists. We are being terrorized. Then a car drives up behind us and he's visibly startled. Abu Bakr's nickname means graveyard in Kiswahili. He says he's a dead man walking. Assalamu alaikum. Niambie. Mambo mzuri. Robin Creel, Mombasa, Kenya. News that moves. ENCA.com.